Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Garrett, and welcome back to Star Wars Squadrons on the Xbox One X. Getting ready to uh, start taking down the Star Destroyer so we could uh, keep her. Playing for keeps. Oh, we could focus the shield? Look out, it's targeting system. Let's do it. Putting power to forward shields. All that damage, and this thing still has teeth. No wonder Talos gripped up a beating just chasing it here. I wanted to see the Victorum go off in flames, but stealing it. <laughs> I like that even better. Almost there. Star Destroyer targeting's out for good. The U-Wings can get in safely. Ah, okay, that was the U-Wing. Take the bridge. We'll have access to its internal systems. Scan for a breach point so we can send an aborting team. You're up five. Breaching a star destroyer, just like the old days. Look out, Vanguard. We got a gunny story incoming. Five hasn't heard it. Sure. No good. Imperial fighters incoming. Try to get a better angle here. Come on, scan. Get that fixed up. Oh boy. Hey five, how about you breach that breach point? Hey, how about you shut up? I wish they had like a quick turn. Do this part. Make it before light show. Oh, yeah, you do. That's it. All fighters destroyed. Great work. U wings are on their way. We can bring the boarding team in safely. Follow me to the rendezvous. We'll give them cover. Where's he at? I feel like I'm going in circles here. Morning team, we have you on our sights. Ready to take on a Star Destroyer? Copy Captain Antilles. Just get us there and we'll do the rest. 
You heard him, Vanguard. Guide those U-wings into position. Stay sharp. What about the Star Destroyer's crew? If our boarding party takes the bridge, they'll slice internal security systems. The crew will be a problem with no computer access, and all the blast doors locked. We've got an Imperial carrier. They're launching reinforcements. They're not giving up the Victoria without a fight. Vanguard. Taking her down? Cruiser. Hold left trigger. Okay. They locked on the car. Right here and ready to go. Boarding team here. We've secured the breach point. Use your high on missiles against the shields. Let's get it off our tail then. Bounced out here. So I discover. Flip around. Flip around again. say flying this thing is just it's it gives me it's nauseous just to get down the the left right sticks is just my brain is not taking it well whoa you're a little close Regroup to you to regroup at the board. Okay. Project 
Fantastic. You can take it from here, Vanguard. I'll escort Talos Group to Safe Harbor. Great work. General Sadula will be impressed. Wedge. I'll take any medals I can get. Trust me. <laughs> now that was a fun mission. Even better than beating my time on the Death March circuit. We got to steal a Star Destroyer and help our friends doing it. And see Yavin. We still have allies on the fourth moon, but I've never been there. There was an energy at Yavin like I've never felt anywhere else. It was chaotic and serene all at once. The Empire corrupts the energy of every planet it touches. But I can always feel the good buried beneath that. And that's what we fight for, the good. Anyway, I saw Frisk bothering Commander Javes earlier. Knowing Frisk, the Commander might appreciate some backup. <laughs> Now the Empire's gonna want that Star Destroyer back. Good. Let's see them try and take it. You know, back home, after the Empire invaded Mimbin, we stole an armored transport hauler full of scout walkers. When the Empire came looking for them, we just turned the walkers against them. Had a real good time. I'm guessing the Commander has something similar in mind for this Star Destroyer, right? Otherwise, what's the point? At least Wedge picked the right team for the job, huh? Those slackers in Alphabet Squadron would still be fapping around at Yavin. <laughs> Enough yapping. Time to check with the commander and see what's next. All right. Let's go give a chat to the commander. Oh, oh, oh we can spec the robot. You're clipping through the ground a little bit, little robot. Not now, Frisk. I'll answer your questions once the Star Destroyer has been delivered safely. Delivered where? We risked our tails to get that Star Destroyer. And you can't even tell us where we're going? It's not my call. Besides, I'd be risking a lot of lives if I shared too much too soon. You hearing this? After all we did for Project Starhawk. Listen. All I can tell you is the basics. Lyndon, our soldiers on the Star Destroyer Victorum just sent to Code Yellow. Now? Damn. Call in Vanguard for immediate briefing. Ah, heck. It was just getting good. <laughs> we have an emergency. The Star Destroyer you captured has unexpectedly fallen out of hyperspace behind enemy lines. Our troops are repairing the hyperdrive as quickly as possible, but you need to buy them some time. There's an Imperial fleet advancing toward the Star Destroyer Victorum. I want A-Wings intercepting enemy fighters. The rest of Vanguard will provide defense and support. I know Imperial protocol better than most. I have no doubt the Empire will disable the Victorum with ion weapons before sending shuttles to recapture it. Stop them at all costs. The Empire must not reclaim the Victorum. Once the Star Destroyer's hyperdrive is operational, cover its escape so it can jump to safety. I'll send you rendezvous <laughs> coordinates when the time is right. This is my fault. I underestimated the repairs. Now the whole project's at risk. Hyperdrive's break, Otto. It's not your fault. They should have suggested you send more engineers to Yavin. Then this never would have happened. Man, it's fine. It happens. Vanguard is ready. They'll get there in time. Won't you? I know, I know. But I'll reach out to Hosni and Prime and requisition a few more engineers. Just in case. Get moving, pilot. Alrighty. Oh, Kenny. I remember the first time I was trapped behind enemy lines. It was the Battle of Mimbin, the first year of the Clone Wars. 
The Separatists had dropped a battalion of B-2 droids on the Nanth Flatlands, cutting us off from the 224th Pawn Division. A thunderstorm was jamming communications, so I took a skyhopper to rendezvous with the 224, hoping to get some reinforcements. It didn't go well. I was halfway across the flatlands when those droids shot me down. And believe me, you have never seen a finer crash landing. The only <laughs> problem was my arm got caught in some wreckage. Figured I'd Aww. rather live my life with one arm than sit around and wait for those droids to find me. Besides, you only need one hand to carry a blaster, right? Yeah, I dragged I guess myself so. out of those flatlands with only one arm and a seriously sour disposition. I guarantee <laughs> those clone boys had never seen anything like me before. But they fixed me up. Then they helped us drive those blasted droids right off planet. If only I'd known that three years later, those clones would be replaced by stormtroopers. But anyway, we should head back to the hangar. The Victorum needs us. I like Gunny. Gunny is good. I love the character. A lot of fun there. Oh, we do. We get to drive an A-wing. As fast as you can fly them. Their hull and shields are too light to take on capital ships, but Imperial starfighters won't stand a chance with you in this cockpit. Sweet. We have a few options to make your tie hunting more efficient. Big fan of the rapid fire lasers and barrage rockets myself. Oh, that is so cool. So we do get a uh, slight change of what we want. 100% more acceleration, but 10% minus in maneuverability. Ooh. Interesting. I kind of like that concept. The plus and minus stuff really works well. I like that idea that you can say, well, you can go a little faster, but it's going to take away some health or whatnot. I, I, that's really cool. I'm glad that they kind of mix it up a little bit, at least so far, by giving, ooh, different cockpit, too. Love it. Oh, what happened here? Who cares? Our Star Destroyer's in trouble. Vanguard, good it's a lot of. Oh yeah, the maneuverability is holy crap different. I don't think I need turbo. Holy crap, this thing fires. Holy crap. You got you. This thing fires great. Great. Just need time to restart our systems. I love this thing. Work fast. Imperial shuttles headed your way. Hold them off. If even one Imperial shuttle reaches us, we'll be overwhelmed. You heard him, Vanguard. Intercept those shuttles. We should split up to take them down. Okay. So we can actually tell which squad mate to attack which one. Your winged mates will focus on that one. Give you... Oh, okay, cool. Well, I think that's a good place to pause it. We'll continue our fight in the next episode and take down some uh, shuttles. So thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you can, give the video a like. It does help me out quite a bit. Also, check out the channel because I have tons of videos going on over there. Until next time, you guys, stay frosty.